Hello everyone, Brian Chapania here. Today we're going to be making some terrain in 3D Max and bringing it into Doom 3. We'll uh, start by creating a plane in the uh, top view here. Uh, we're going to do a keyboard entry of 1024 and 1024 create. OK, come on up to here. We're going to uh, make it have 40 segments and 40 segments. Uh, holding down the control key uh, right click and we can convert to editable poly. Now what we want to do just uh, for the sake of creating some terrain is uh, Alt W on this and we can zoom it in a bit. We're going to uh, displace it to uh, create the terrain. To do that we're just going to add a displace modifier and bitmap. We will have to create the bitmap first. So we're going to leave here and head on into uh, Photoshop. Okay, we're in Photoshop. We just go and open a uh, picture. Here we got a funny picture that uh, seems to be everywhere. We're going to uh, image size, change its size, and come back again, image size once more. And we'll do this 512 and 512, OK, and bring it up to size. Uh, we'll save that as a Targa TGA. Yeah, that's fine. We're not actually going to be using it afterward. This is just for the sake of the display, uh, just to show this one displacement. Um, now we'll mode grayscale. OK, and we can do some adjustment on it, brightness, contrast, whatever. And uh, OK, and we can save that as our Mona BW save. OK, now we're done in Photoshop. We can head back over to 3D Max. Side 3D Max, done. Now we're going to. Uh, the mono black and white and uh, that's the one that's on there now so we can just uh, strength and it's causing the distortion to happen there it is um, we can add a UV map to it and uh, just to show it off some more we could letter M and bitmap Select the Mona TGA, open, sign it to it, OK, close that, and there you can see it's got uh, deformation based on uh, the black and white that you saw. So now what you can do is you could just uh, right click, collapse all and uh, right click on this itself again we'll make it all full screen control right click convert to editable poly edit editable mesh and uh, then you can just save it out as an ASE uh, but that's not what we're going to do for this one what we're going to be doing for uh, the one that we're going to bring in is reset this so yes we're going to be uh, using vertex paint to create it so plain keyboard entry 1024, 1024, create. Um, we're going to uh, head up to here and make it have 40 segments and 40 segments. Um, now we can control right click, convert to editable poly. Alt, well, we'll do it on this one again. Alt W, stretch it on up. Uh, we can select it, letter Q, select. Uh, we'll uh, use these vertices. We'll use some soft selection and whatever that's going to do. Again, uh, Q. So we can select some. Oh, we've got round selection tool, that's kind of nice. Let's see what the uh, fall off. Okay. And uh, now we can. 
grab our uh, move tool W and stretch those up like that and click off on that and now this is essentially done what's going to happen now is we'll go Alt W and come into this view and uh, make it so we can see the smooth highlights and we're going to uh, turn off the grid letter G we're going to apply a vertex paint we're going to, I'll convert it to a editable, editable mesh first don't know if that's necessary or not and you saw a bit of a shift in the, the uh, design of the shape of it when I did that. Anyways, vertex paint that's what we're going to be working with. Click on this uh, we're going to be using color black and uh, paintbrush. Paintbrush is the size the uh, size you set here. We'll set it to 150 and that's way too big so we'll set it to 50 and that seems okay. So then you just paint all the way around and you only have black and white to work with. Uh, that's what the game will be able to work to show. Alt, little mouse button, turn it around, paint up this side. We can do the top of it too. Doesn't matter if it spills over, it's just a test. Okay, um, so what's uh, black will be rock when we go into the uh, next stage of this. Um, with that the way it is, we can apply a uh, UV map to it, and it's uh, we'll go to the top view with uh, smooth highlights. And with that on, we can uh, just for the sake of it, letter rem or this here material editor add a uh, texture to it. Bitmap we're going to vertex will be just uh, adding the grass here. You can see rock V is and vertex is shows vertex blend. This is the one that shows up. You don't have to add the underscore ED but that'll be the one that you see inside the editor. So we'll just uh, open this and stick it on for the sake of having one. And You can see where the black is will be rock where that is will be grass and it'll blend in. I guess I should have uh, put some kind of uh, come back to here show this let's turn that off no you don't have to paint this one up some more and uh, gonna put a blur onto it of 50 percent and this is where you get the stuff blending between the materials. Um, now we'll come back on up to here and the mapping is on. The texture's in place. I'm going to collapse all and control right click convert to editable mesh and I will export this. Selected file export selected and we'll be going to uh, desktop, Doom 3, base, uh, models, vertex, and it's an ASE. Oh, you got this here, everything's set up. Just going to save that over top. Yes, we want to replace it. Now we need the mesh definition, materials, mesh normals, mapping coordinates, and vertex color is turned on. And OK. That's it. Now we head on over to the C drive. Actually, it wasn't the C drive. We wanted to go into the Doom 3 folder, base, and uh, inside of base we want to come into models models vertex vertex ASC open it up and this is what it says we want this here to say base I'm going to swap that over like that and swap that like that and this here will be Vertex. So base texture is vertex, vertex. And that's it for the vertex.asc. Save. And
OK. Now we head on back over to the front end here. Go to materials. We got vertex.mtr. This here is what you uh, will be textures, vertex. Okay, we have textures, vertex, vertest, which is what's referenced inside the uh, with inside the ASE, and the editor image is vertest.ed, which is this one here, and that's just what's going to show inside. Unless you're in the uh, render view, if you're just in cam view, that's what shows inside the uh, editor, and also in the selection. Blend diffuse map map textures vertex grass underscore D is going to be the vertex color which is white and inverse vertex color is black so everything that was painted black is going to be the rock and also because there's a black to a white fade there will be a fade between the grass and the rock at certain spots so that's the trick right there inverse vertex color is the black vertex color is the white and that is saved so um, with everything in place, models, materials, and textures, we can go into the Dune 3 editor. Okay, we're in the Dune 3 editor. I already have a uh, just a scene set up with the uh, object in it already. You would just normally right-click on here, go New Model, and then select the ASC. So there you can see it's just that, and we'll uh, select this and expand it over top of everything because we don't need letter Z to look down and so there's vertex plan that's what you see on it and when you go F7 there you go the uh, where it was painted black has the rock texture ish on it stretched not looking very good but whatever it's still and it fades between uh, the rock and the texture at the uh, the points where it wasn't pure black it was grays and there you go vertex paint and terrain have fun